Hi, this is Wendy Laidlaw here. I am here with um, the lovely Stacey, who has been um, a wonderful student and participant of my Heal Endometriosis Naturally Foundation program. Welcome, Stacey. Hi. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and speak to me today. You're um, welcome. I know if there are ladies uh, watching this, they're going to be. Um, intrigued as to kind of like what the program's all about and I thought I'd maybe just ask you to start with kind of what, what were what were what were things like for you prior to joining the program? Well right before the program I had just been um I, I call it sick because that's just easiest way to put it towards people but I was in pain for maybe five months and I had a surgery in October. I had just picked up your book and um, just finished it. And, you know, kind of, I, I felt like I was struggling. I couldn't figure out how to, to do it on my own, you know, to, to get healthy enough. I just, I felt stuck. And I had just come back to work and I really wanted to get my life back together. And then you just, all of a sudden had this program and it was like, a, it was like a miracle that it came around at the perfect time for me. Oh, fantastic. And, and maybe you could explain to some woman, I hear that you were saying you were sick and you're in lots of pain and, you know, for five months, you know, you, you had been in, in a lot of issues and had to have an operation. Describe some of the symptoms that you were having at that time. Okay. I had a lot of bladder problems where I had constant pressure. I was either going to the bathroom every half an hour or, you know, not going and feeling like I had to go. I would get up in the middle of the night, almost feeling like I had to wet the bed. It was that bad. And then get to the toilet and I couldn't go. Um, I had tons of pelvic pain to the point where it was so bad. I couldn't do anything except lay down and I would walk around with ice packs I'd have probably like three or four ice packs wrapped around my pelvic, around the back, around the front. I didn't do anything except lay in bed, and I hated it. I hated how bad my life had gotten after doctor after doctor. No one really knew what to do. They just kept, you know, pushing aside. Oh, you see this person, you see that person, and you know, I knew something wasn't right. I knew that this is not normal. You know, I've had endometriosis since. I was about 17. I'm now 31. I had three surgeries before this pain. I know when something's not right. I know when at the time I thought that for me, it would be like getting clean, you know, having them go in and clean you. It was more than just that, that pain, you know, pre this, my pain happened during the summer, just in January, you know, a couple months before I had a surgery to get clean, you know? So I knew that something was not right at all. And finally, you know, I went to go see a specialist after all these other specialists and he looked at me and he said to go right into surgery. And that was actually the day that I got your book that I knew that this was not what I wanted. But at that moment, I also felt that I had no other choice. You know, I knew that was going to be my last surgery. No, no matter what, I was not going to go back in, but for that pain that I, I had to do something. And then they went in and they got the endometriosis off my bladder, which hence was causing all my pain for five months. And then they got um, the endometriosis off the cul-de-sac. So that, that worked, but then I actually had complications after the surgery. I had to go back into the hospital six hours later because my bladder was spilling over into my kidneys and not working. So it was absolutely horrible, horrible. But then I read your book and I knew, I knew right then, you know, I even knew before that I didn't want surgeries. I wanted to heal this naturally. I knew that there was a way that I could do this naturally. The, I, I don't like to believe in doctors. I still don't. I have a very hard time going to doctors because I don't believe that they're actually want to care for us. And I knew that I had to take it into my own hands and that's what I did. Yeah. And your book just confirmed that it, it's possible. I, kn I knew it before, but I didn't have any resources. I just knew in my heart and my head that I wanted to do it naturally. 
And then like I said, then I read your book and I just knew it was possible. And then the program. So, and now I really know that it is possible that I can be pain free because it's, it's been, you know, it's been a full week. And for me, that's huge with no pain, nothing, nothing. And it's, it's amazing. Fantastic. So thank you. Yeah, well, that's brilliant, and and it's wonderful that you know you you read the, the full book before the you know the program details came up, so you kind of knew the content yes. and things, and and I think you tend most people do tend to get to that point where they've just had more than enough surgeries to you know to last them a lifetime, and and you're right, I think there is this preconceived idea that you go in to get a surgery to get cleaned up and yeah. then that's fixed somehow. But of course, what the doctors don't tell you is it's so damaging, so destructive to the body to have these operations. And then, of course, the symptoms return within you know, a matter of months and then you're right back to square one again, but this time weaker. So for those women that are curious about the program, how, mm -hmm. how would you describe the program and how it works to women considering taking it? It was all around a really good feeling to do the program. It wasn't just about the healthy food or the protein shake. It was about really loving yourself as well and knowing that you deserve to be pain free and that you can do it upon yourself. You know, you, yes, obviously we all know that you have to eat certain foods and that helped a lot too, because I thought I was eating healthy. I didn't realize I was, I was eating healthy enough and needed the right things. You know, the protein shake is absolutely amazing. I had energy. I can do things now. You know, I didn't have energy before. I'd have to nap all day, you know. So those things were good, you know, that and they're for me, they're a um a daily thing that I do every single day. It's a routine. I know what I can eat, I know what I can't eat. You know, the protein shake, I choke it down if I don't like it. You know, it's something I have to do. But you taught us to love ourselves and to give us what what skills and tools that we need to always remember that and to remember that day by day, even if things get tough, you know, write in your journal, you know, meditate, take deep breaths. You know, you, you've given us the skills that, that are for every day that we need, that we, you know, some of us may know, you know, I came in this very positive. I was a positive thinker, you know, but you were just that little push that that just kept us going and we're when we couldn't get up you were there helping us you know not pulling us along but just walking with us and showing us the right way so oh well that's nice well it's lovely thank you that's lovely to hear that because that's that's what I always felt I wanted when I was really ill and yeah. when I was bed bound I needed somebody not to chastise me or criticize me or any of that I just needed someone to say I believe in you and I'm here for you and together we can do this, you know, yeah. and, and I know that you, you know, for, for some of the ladies that are watching, they won't know, but you, you did have, you know, some, some really rough times during the program, didn't you? And I, yes, I did. You know, I fell back into being sick, I guess. I, um, the pelvic pain turned into back pain for me and messed up all my hips and everything, but now I'm going to a chiropractor and that's helping. So that was, part of the program. And then I did find out I was able to get pregnant and that was exciting at the moment. But then I did find out a week later, I did have a miscarriage and you also helped me to accept that that is okay to have those feelings, you know, to be upset because you know, it is, it is a big deal, but also, you know, to, to know that it's possible. I don't really think that I could have been pregnant if I didn't take this course. You know, like I said, I was eating healthy. I was doing, I thought were the right things, but I really feel that everything that you have brought to me into this course has helped me get to that point. And I mean, and that was, yeah, that was maybe 10 weeks into the course where, you know, I found out I was pregnant, but I, you know, I worked up to that point to where I, my body felt like it could so that's huge yeah and that must have been really upsetting what did happen it was it was and you know it's I'm okay now with it and you did you know again I like to push it aside sometimes but you also helped me a lot accept my feelings teach me 
to 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 be okay to be upset about it and that you know I still have sometimes a hard time with that but it's it's nice to know that I was able to come to you with such a big problem I I guess problem or whatever you want to call it and that you were not only there for me but you taught me skills on how to cope with these things and you know now when other big problems come up now I know how to handle it and that for me is is the main thing is that you know we did have something dramatic happen and you were able to hold my hand and help me get through it and accept it yeah. and, you know and see the light even when I didn't want to yeah. Oh, well, I'm so glad because I know it was a really upsetting thing. And I think uh, we're, we're all conditioned as we grew up to dismiss and resist the emotions, even when really upsetting and traumatic things happen to us. We, you know, there's this dismissing and resisting because we don't know how to, to deal with the emotions. Um, and it's essential that, you know, that you, we, we feel them because if we don't, they're still there in our body. And that resistance actually causes all sorts of hormonal issues and all sorts of you know, stress issues. Yeah within our body, which is just really, really hard. And I think as well, you had very philosophically kind of pointed out that, um, and very kindly pointed out that this program had got you to the point you could fall pregnant because you didn't think you could before. Mm -hmm. But also we, you had identified that, you know, there was, there was some aspects that probably uh, you knew what you now know what you need to do to, to stay pregnant. You, yes. now know, you now know, you know your body well enough now, don't you, that you understand why the body wouldn't have maintained the pregnancy and things like that. You understand, you have that knowledge and that education, that information now, which I yes. see from you, you feel far more powerful within yourself because you understand, although it was tragic and so upsetting, you understood why, and you'll know how to prepare your body leading up to, um, you know, another pregnancy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and now exactly. I know the steps now to continue to stay healthy and, to, to prepare my body, you know, like I said, it's a huge thing that my body was even able to accept it. I mean, I know my ovaries are clean. Um, and every, it, my ovaries and fallopian tubes, I know are clean. And the doctor did mention, you know, it's great that the path is, is so, so good, you know, that it was able to accept it. That's, that's huge. So now I know next time, whether it happens again, I will know how to handle it. I know why it happens and I know what to do to stay healthy enough to make sure that it does hold. Yeah. Um, how does that feel to have all that, feels, that knowledge now? It feels good to have control over my body. <laughs> that's, that's the main thing here is that I now feel like I have control. I have control whether or not I get the, the pelvic pain now. You know, I know ways how to prevent the bloating that I had or my cramping, you know, it, I mean, I've just, it's amazing how much I have learned about what really I didn't know was causing it. You know, I mean, obviously we're going to have the pain, but now we know how to prevent it, what to do if, you know, if it comes, you know, and, and it, you know, we write things down, you know, if, if you're bloated or you, you know, you, you're stressed even can cause it. I mean, there's just so much that, that is involved yes. and it's in it. It feels good though. The knowing your whole body is involved mentally, physically, that it all works together and that you, you can help prevent the pain. Yeah, absolutely. And I think once you realize that, it appeases that anxiety, especially women with endometriosis. Um, they feel like their body has got a mind of its own. It's separate from the mind and it's all out of control. But when you learn all the different layers and all the different aspects to what makes you a human being, you know, the holistic approach, yeah. it, it does empower you to make you realize that what choices you have available to you and what to do if things aren't, if you have a flare up day or you, you have a situation or you eat something or, you know, there's something on your skin or there is a, you know, a, a really upsetting event like you experienced, yes. you know, there's an understanding, a layer of understanding that you now have that perhaps you didn't have before, which then appeases that anxiety and stress within the body. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I also didn't realize how much stress can cause it. And I mean, I knew stress would do some harm, but I guess I didn't realize how physically harmful it is. Yeah. I mean, and that's huge. And stress can come from anywhere. Anywhere. It's just a matter of how you learn to handle it and how you learn to handle it now. You know, there's steps. It's, ba- it's all baby steps. Yeah. Day by day. You know, you have to change the way you view things, the way you eat things. You know, you got to throw in some supplements to, to, to keep things going. You know, it is, I, I guess the way I look at, like, like you said, it's a lifestyle change. Daily routines, everything has to change. And as soon as you get used to it, it becomes normal. And it's a good feeling. Yeah. It's a good feeling that you know you're finally doing the right thing for your body. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. And how have you found working with me? Because some people might be looking at this video and thinking, oh, well, that's great. Yeah, I can probably do the diet thing and, and the products thing and, and whatever else, you know, when he's going to throw at me. But what about this kind of one-on-one work? How, how does that work and how does that help? Well, at first I was a little hesitant because, um, you know, you're a stranger. I know nothing about you. <laughs> you know, yes, I did read your book. But still, you know, it's, it's scary to open up to someone you don't know to. You know, to do the um, recording to to be able to get into the program, I probably did it like four or five times. I was terrified. I I know my story. I don't really, you know, I was hesitant to sk- to tell you. And when you sent back to me and told me how well I did, I was like, okay, well, uh, she seems good. Okay, I think I can do this. And then the one-on-ones, you know, we started connecting a little bit more and I was able to open up to you. You know, you were caring, you were loving, you you were supportive. You know, like I said, it was more as that you were walking next to us and not pushing us or, or telling us, you know, yes, you have your opinions. I have mine, you know, it's, it's respect. And, but you have to come into this with an open mind. You know, there's going to be things that, that you, you know, that we don't want to hear from you but open minds, you know, and then you realize, oh, wait a minute, she was right on this, or that was a really good idea, you know, it, it's just, and even when we didn't do the Skypes or the one-on-ones, I was able to still email you when I felt that I needed that support more, laying in bed, you know, not being able to go to work, you know, that struggle, like guilt that I had inside me, I was able to turn to you, tell you, and I felt that you wouldn't judge me and you wouldn't be upset with me because of what I was feeling that you, you were okay. You know, you were, you were there just to talk to, you know, you, you said your, your, your voice, your opinion, but it wasn't mean. It was, it was very caring. It oh, very motherly. I feel like, you know, you, you really wanted to make sure that, that we felt loved and that, we can do this. And you really believed in us. And that was the most important thing is that you always encouraged us. You always made us believe that we can do it. And that turned into us believing in ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's it. I think by the time women start thinking about making the changes that they need to make to really help themselves, they're normally in a lot of pain. They're normally feeling pretty dejected about themselves they've had to fight to be believed their whole life fight with doctors when they can barely function in chronic pain can hardly eat because there's so much pain you know so by the time people come into this program um their confidence is is pretty low yeah yeah Um, yeah uh, and belief in themselves is is zilch yeah and 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 at at the beginning of the course i mean i still had trouble with that you know when my pain came back you know, I think it came back after maybe five weeks of doing it and maybe less than that. I can't remember exactly my days all blend together, but it came back and I was frustrated. I wasn't frustrated with you or the program. I was frustrated with my body and it made me slum back into that, I, I guess, dark spot where, you know, nothing. I, I'm a positive person, but when I'm like that, nothing can bring me out. And you were there kind of waving your hand like, I'm here. I can help you. It's going to be okay. You're allowed to feel that way. 
but let's, you know, let's write it down, you know, let's, you know, remember to eat, you know, just, just the little things that are now engraved in my head that I'm like, okay, I was going to have food on me. I have my journal with me at all times, you know, take a moment to breathe, you know, eat slow. It's just the, it's the little things that I remember every day to day that, that are so helpful that I'm like, I'm not going to get down again. I'm not going back to that dark spot. Not at all. No. So I, again, I can't thank you enough. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So what would you say to any woman considering this course? Because now, of course, um, there's going to be a financial investment. And that's something I think women with endometriosis really struggle with because, as we discussed, their confidence is very, very low. They, their self-worth is, is non-existent. The idea of spending money on getting themselves well just feels really kind of alien. So what would you say to those women that are looking oh. at the program thinking, how can I do this? I can be the main person saying, I have no money. I do work. I work part-time. I don't make any money. And this was a really struggle for me. Money is a big stressor. It got me upset because yes, you do have to go out and buy healthy food. You do have to go out and buy these supplements and these proteins. And it took me a while to get them in the program. And I, of course, then had that guilt of, okay, well, you know, I want to feel better, but I don't have the money, but it was worth it. It, I, I mean, now, yeah, I still don't have the money. And right now I'm out of some supplements, but I'm, I'm doing what I can to scrounge every penny so that I can stay healthy. You know, it is really worth it. It is hard when you're in pain, you don't have money, you don't think anything's going to work, but this isn't just, Yes, it's about the endometriosis. It's about your whole body. You, yes, we need, we're working on healing this, but I feel like it's everything. Everything is connected. You know, one thing you taught us was the uh, one thing that I live by is the digestive enzyme. I'm not bloated anymore. I don't have indigestion. I don't feel like shit after I eat. I mean, like, it, that's something I, I need, you know, there's, I mean, really I need everything, but you know, there's, there's things that I, I know that, okay, this is really important right now. So I'll get this first. And then, you know, the week after, and you learn how to budget, you learn what you need. It, it becomes a lot easier and not so guilty that you're spending money on making yourself feel better. It, it's what you need. Yeah. I mean, basically when it comes down to it, it's either you're going to suffer if you don't do anything about it yeah. and you're going to be stuck like that, or you decide, okay, well, maybe I need to change. Maybe I need to invest in making myself healthy. And that's, this is the way to do it. I mean, I would not, there's no other way, really. There isn't because this is the whole body, the whole experience. And that's what you need. Yeah, Absolutely. And so what would you say to any woman? What, how would you summarize uh, your experience uh, on the foundation program? Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. I mean, I really can't put it in words because I have come so, so far. I, and it, it's like I said, it's not just about the, the healthy healing and the food. It, it has brightened me more to see everything as a whole my emotions. Um, I mean, you know, just everything in my daily life I have changed and it's, it feels really good just to, to be able to, to love myself and to, to just have that, that, that really hard feeling that, that good, you know, I can, I can do this. I can, I can be healthy. Yeah. It's amazing. It's still a little shocking though. So I will say that, that I'm still not in pain. So I'm, I'm, you know, come talk to me in a week and maybe I'll have more, more, uh, more words, but still, I'm just, I'm, I'm just amazed how far I've come. Oh, that's fantastic. So, um, what parting words would you say to any woman who's, you know, quivering on the edge of whether or not they should do this program? What, what would you say to them? <sighs> Go for it. Just, just take the leap and, and and do it. You're really going to enjoy it. You're, you're going to feel so good, so healthy. Your everything will be brighter. Everything will, will feel good. It, it's going to be a little scary, 
but everything in life is scary and you just you have to accept that you you want to feel better it's either you do or you don't really i mean do you really want to sit there in pain again over and over and over again just you know you can you can want to change yourself you can want to feel better but you actually have to do it and if you don't do it then then there's there's you're going back to square one and you have to stick with it every day you can't you know yes you can cheat here and there but maybe once a week if that you know and you'll realize that you don't really even want to cheat anymore because it's not even worth it you want to stay healthy you want to feel good you want to feel in it, it no pain nothing you know for those that you guys are sitting on your couch do this you will not regret any part of it at all you will be able to get out of bed you will be able to go to the park or go do something with your friends it feels good oh fantastic well i'm so pleased at the progress that you've made because it's been a really bumpy ride for you but what i've always been impressed at right through at the beginning even when the finances were really tough and difficult for you is that you, you know, you kept going, you kept doing what you could do and you were really teachable and you were really kind of committed to yourself. And I think, you know, there's, uh, you know, with what you've done already, it's only upward and onward. And even just hearing you say there how you can cheat, of course we all want to cheat, but actually when you do, you just don't feel that good yeah. once you've had, when you've been feeding yourself what your body needs, it's amazing how you notice how good it feels when you feed it what it really loves and, 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 and craves rather yeah. than the high sugar rubbish. Cause we all, we all default every now and again to that. Yeah, no, it's perfect. You know? Well, that's right. Well, see, when you do, you do notice how yuck it feels when you've been eating and treating yourself. Well. But look, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. I know this video will be really, really inspiring to lots of women who are currently in bed with chronic pain because that's where you were when, yeah. when you applied for this, this program to start with. You sent me a video from your bed. Um, and <laughs> I'll maybe try and filter that into this video, the kind of before and after. Yeah, I was going to say that would be a good idea because I was pretty ill <laughs> yeah and i'm sure i did not look this nice and what, what, would, what would you say to women because i think again i think some people might think that i you know this program might be touting a quick fix or a magical cure what, what would you say to women no it it's a lifestyle change you it's day by day just like everything else it's baby steps to get into where you should be but it's no don't think that it's going to happen overnight because it's not going to you have to commit you you know like said like you said i went from bed rest to now i'm doing things now i'm going to the park every day i i like i make sure i have my my food my snacks with me but i you know i've learned what i can do and what i can't do and it took some time for me to get where i am but that's okay you know nothing's gonna happen overnight like you say it's like a seed growing into a flower yeah. You know, I'm still a little, I'm still a little root, you know, I got a little sprout there. I'm, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but now I have the tools yeah. to be there. And that's, what's important is that you have taught us the tools to get to where we want to be and not, and that's not in bed. That's definitely not in bed. Well, fantastic. Well, Lou, thank you so much. As I say, you've been a wonderful student. I've really loved working with you and helping you because you've done all this work and all I've done is, as I say, be there by your side to help kind of cheer you on as a cheerleader when, you know, when, when life gets in the way and, and obstacles are, are thrown up. But thank you so much indeed for taking the time, Stacey. You You're welcome. After yourself. Um, we will speak to you soon. Thank okay. you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.